If the world was just 100 people, this is what it would look like. 50 would be female and 50 would be male. 25 of us would be 0 to 14. 66 would be 15 to 64 and 9 would be 65 and older. When it comes to geography, 60 would be from Asia, 16 would be from Africa, 10 would be from Europe, 9 would be from Latin America and the Caribbean, and 5 would be from North America. When it comes to religion, 31 would be Christian, 23 would be Muslim, 16 would not be religious or not identify with any religion, 15 would be Hindu, 7 would be Buddhist, and 8 would believe in other religions. And when it comes to our first language, 12 would speak Chinese, 6 would speak Spanish, 5 would speak English, 4 would speak Hindi, 3 would speak Arabic, 3 would speak Bengali, 3 would speak Portuguese, 2 would speak Russian, 2 would speak Japanese, and 60 would speak other languages. And when it comes to literacy, 86 would be able to read and write 14 would not. And when it comes to education, only 7 would have a college degree. 78 would have a place to shelter themselves from the cold and the rain. 22 would not. 91 would have access to safe drinking water. 9 would not. 11 would be undernourished, 1 would have HIV and 1 would have tuberculosis. And this shocked me. 11 people would live on less than $1.90 per day. 82 of us would have electricity. 18 would not. Only 65 of us would have cell phones. And only 47 of us would have access to the internet. There's three huge lessons that I learned from all of this. The first one is that it makes me appreciate diversity. How boring would it be to live in a world where everyone was just like us? Imagine if everyone in your life talked like you, thought like you, walked like you. The world would be a boring place. There'd be no new cultures to explore, no new languages to learn, no new adventures to be had. The second thing I learned is it makes me more grateful for what I have. When we see the disparity in the numbers, we recognize how fortunate we truly are. And the third thing, we get activated and engaged and realize how much work there still is to do in the world. We all have so many opportunities for service, to make a difference in the lives of others, to heal people's physical and mental challenges, to let go of our apathy and be enthusiastic about serving and helping and making an impact on humanity. As Muhammad Ali said, service to others is the rent we pay for our room here on earth.